The artichoke is the great bulb of life. It is prickly on the outside, a fortress of walls within walls, yet within it contains both a culture and a psychology. In this, it is the mirror of yourself. You may be surrounded by walls of egotism, arrogance, and fear, a well-defended citadel of mistrust and misunderstanding, pocked by too many assailants. But inside, as with the artichoke, it is a very soft heart. Because one's heart has been wounded so many times, it is shielded by tough, pointy leaves and must be opened very carefully. Like a life, the artichoke gains richness and savor from being combined with many flavors. I slice off just the top third. Then I crush the bulb a little bit so that the leaves open up as we've all been crushed and our layers exposed, wearing our hearts on our sleeves. Then I make a stuffing of breadcrumbs, the sacred grain, the staff of life, to which I add basil for greening, oregano for piquancy, and garlic, much garlic, for pungency. I also add the bite of freshly grated aged cheese, romano or pecorino or parmesan, the kindness of olive oil and the grounding of salt. And for spiciness, I will often put in a bit of cardamom, which I'll grind, or coriander as a strange Sicilian undercurrent. Sometimes I even throw in a little bit of pickled oregano bud in the form of chopped caper. Then I mix that up and carefully stuff each leaf spiraling inward to the center choke. When it has been slowly braised to just the right moment of tenderness, the stuffed artichoke becomes a hologram, each part containing the whole. It symbolizes how each aspect of a life has the potential for a full relation to the totality. The sweet does not remain simply sweet, it is set off by the sour and the bitter and the pungent. The same is true of the salty parts. Even tears contain a bit of greening. Life, as usual, imitates cuisine, and the art of cooking is a metaphor for composing a life. Jean Houston, a mythic life.